We'll get started and we'll, we'll let people trickle in. But the, you know, what you said right now and re-inspire and reinvigorate, you know, to actually really connect to that today in the next few days as we end. This is actually my day three, so I'm still going for a few more days after this, five more days after this. But that's 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 it. That's the nugget, even for the theme today, for empowering your life after the cleanse, right? So, like, to make this even like Jody and I, this is part of our year. You know, a lot of people on this cleanse, this is part of, like, I do this twice a year. I even have my own program in the fall equinox where we dive into this and that heart practice straight for four weeks. And it's just, like, every day amplifying, amplifying. So recognizing how to re-inspire. I love those words, reinvigorate. And as I speak today, as both of you have been on this and for anyone listening to the recording, when I speak and anyone introduced to this practice, do not listen to me like it's a podcast. Everything I've shared in the first and second session, I'd like to invite you into right now. This is how I work with my, in my work and my clients. It's not listening to me lecture, listening to me teach that quite frankly shit all of you already know. It's to feel the vibration of a meaning deeper for you. That's how you catalyze all that reinvigoration. So as we begin, even with our eyes open right now, release the tension in your feet. You too remember and anyone here on the recording. My feet are planted firmly on the ground, on a rug, in a garden wherever you are, as you are. Long, slow, deep breath, four or five seconds in through the nose and out. Even feel into this casually. It doesn't have to be a formal feeling, a formal practice. Long, slow, deep breath. I love the word inspiration and re-inspire because inspiration comes from taking in spirit in spirit, taking in spirit, taking in breath. And what we're doing is we're consciously taking in that breath, long, slow, deep breath as we begin. Four or five seconds in through the nose, four or five seconds out. Four or five seconds in through the nose, four or five seconds out. Even as Heather, you were sharing, it's been hard to feel grounded in this. Yeah, we can feel kind of flighty. Even day three for me, you feel, I intentionally book less calls with my clients these next few days because I'm in a spacey space. Long, slow, deep breath. To even feel the power of what a cleanse does to your mind and body, if you feel that lightness and feel the grounding nature of now consciously making a decision to ground, to recognize that polarity, long, so deep breath, to feel it in the body, to feel into the polarity. Four or five seconds in through the nose, four or five seconds out. And again, just breathe in the polarity of how you felt these last seven, six days. And breathe, long, slow, deep breath. Eyes open into your body. To feel the rhythm of where you were even during yesterday's session. And as you close out tomorrow, feel the rhythm of where you're going after the cleanse. You've catalyzed more connection in your body, even somatically in this practice, long, slow, deep breath. I'd like to invite you now to close your eyes. Four or five seconds in through the nose and out, release the tension in your legs, your thighs, your lower back, your buttocks, your waist, your hips, your stomach, your gut. Long, slow, deep breath. Breathe into that space inside of your body. Breathe into that space. That space within space. Inside of you and outside of you. Breathe into that space. Long, slow, deep breath. Eyes closed. Remember, we're not meditating to calm the mind or empty the mind. 
You're merely somatically and kinesthetically connecting more with your body to feel the intelligence of what you've been through, what your body has invited you into, even what you shared in yesterday's session. And now we're gonna feel into the vibration of your future. In our first session, day two, we optimize a new rhythm. You recognize the rhythm of what you brought into this break, into this fast. In day six, we grounded in a new flow of presence. Feel the rhythm of why we did what we did. To be more mindful of the ritual that we're entering into, and I'm speaking slowly, intentionally, long, slow, deep breath. Deep breath in through the nose, four or five seconds, deep breath out, release the tension out in your chest, your rib cage, your spine, your, your lumbar, your solar plex, your shoulder blades, your shoulders and your biceps and triceps, long, slow, deep breath, release the tension. Breathe into that space. Breathe into that spaciousness. felt the rhythm of where you were and where you are. Now begin to open up a portal to where you're going. You can do this any moment of any day through any facet of your life. With intention, connect energetically to a portal of a timeline and a future that you desire. To feel the portal opening of what you desire to fulfill for whatever feels empty, and also to use the energy and catalyst of transformation that you've already been on to use the energy of this cleanse. Where is it guiding you to? What are you inspired with? What is this reinvigorating? To feel with intention, more connection, Amplify your heart. In my pauses, continue your breath, your somatic connection, surrender your body, let go, feel it sink deeper into the ground, the chair, your cushion, your mat, and let go of your body. Let go to allow its intelligence to inform you. Let go of your body and lean into your future. Long, slow, deep breath. Let go of your body and lean into your future. Long, slow, deep breath. Let go of your body. And lean into a future that you desire. Where is this cleanse taking you? You started this path to ignite something. You're finishing this path to continue something. Feel into the intention, long, slow, deep breath. No expectations for what you should be feeling right now. No judgment. This is the meditation. Surrender, release attention, your collarbone now, your neck, your cheeks, your eyes, your nose, your lips. Release attention behind your eyes. The back of your scalp, your hair. Feel the spaciousness even in between your scalp and your brain. There's space, long, slow, deep breath. Release the tension in your body. Eyes closed. 
We're diving into the same breath practice, somatic practice as our last sessions. And this time you are leaning into your future. Let go of your body and lean into your future. Use your body. We talk about quantum. You hear talk of energy. A lot of these concepts can seem ephemeral, esoteric. Some people call it woo woo. Long, slow, deep breath. The truth is you're diving into energy and motion that has always been in motion. You're diving into the energy of what is, what has been, what will be. You're diving into an algorithm of life force that is assembling itself with cohesion and love into the very molecules and formations of your body, your hair, your thoughts, your corpuscles, your lips, your eyes, and your nose. Long, slow, deep breath, including all of the intentions of your life. And this weighted weightlessness is where you now advance and lean into your future. To quantumly choose a vibration and feeling in your body and allow that feeling to lead you. To embody that future here and now, you feel the vibration of it now. You embody the feelings of it now. It's no longer in a future, you're feeling it here and now. Long, slow, deep breath. Release the tension in your body. And lean into your future. What do you feel? What direction are you going in? To empower your life after this cleanse is to take with you the vibration of an idea, of a feeling, of something you've accomplished, and ride the energetic wave into a journey, an outcome. You came here to cleanse the body. You've realized it's clear in your mind. And now it will ignite your heart. Long, slow, deep breath. If you're open to it, if you choose it, it can lead you further than just the body. It could lead you into power, higher states of consciousness and awareness, and a magic of magnetism to align you with any path you desire by merely allowing the purity of that desire to fill your heart. Long, slow, deep breath. This is the meditation. Feel the purity of that future in your heart right here, right now. Amplify that heart now, feel it envelop your body, even fill the room. Amplify that heart, let go. We're not forcing it to amplify, you're merely letting go of your body and your energetic connection to your cells to allow the amplification of what's already there to amplify, long, slow, deep breath. Feel it in your body. This is your power, your life force. This is all of you. Every shadow, every light, every nook and cranny of you. This is every bit of your truth, just as much as that glass of milk that's on your table. Just like the herbals have been formulated to cleanse and clear your gut, to ignite more of a connection to wellness, to well-being, to clarity, to focus, allowing your body to heal and do what it is it naturally is doing. Allow your body to do what it's programmed to do when you are in a state of harmony. Long, slow, deep breath. 
we ride this wave. into your future with full force, with full intention, with full power. This is not a concept. This is no longer an idea. If you've been here in all three sessions, this is energetic truth in your body that you feel tangibly. It has an algorithm, a programming, a frequency, Long, slow, deep breath. And now ride that wave. Lean into it. Where is it going? Where is this wave taking you, your body, your life, your family, your career, your ideas? Get specific, feel into the intention, lean into it. Long, slow, deep breath, use your body. Release the weight, release the tether. This is trust. You trust your desires because they're true. You have faith in a direction because you trust your desires. You lean into them. And this motivates action, long, slow, deep breath. Let go of your body and lean into your future. Feel it speeding up. You're traveling next month, two months, six months. Lean into it. Let go, surrender. One year from now. Two years from now, five years from now. Feel into the rhythm of your future. Where is it taking you? Use your body, let go, surrender. You remember the steps, long, slow, deep breath. Release the tension in your feet, your ankles, your knees, your calves. Release the tension in a small body part, let go, surrender. Dive into that spaciousness inside of your heart and then Lean into the direction of where your consciousness is taking you. There's no plan B when you feel this truth. There's no other direction to empower when you feel this clear. Long, slow, deep breath. We're still in it. Use your body. This is the vibration of a path that you are now aligned with. This is the resonance of something that is tangible. Long, slow, deep breath, use your body. This is a heart biofield, a life force energy inside of you that you are amplifying to focus your intentions in a very clear direction. Use your body. Beautiful. Now, ask yourself, where are you going? What comes up? Stream of thought. I invite you to now write it in the chat, even with your heart. Continue the practice. Don't stop, even with your eyes open. Use your body. Lean in. Stream of thought. Don't think with the mind. Allow it to come out in a word, a sentence. I invite you all to share. Use your body. Let's set an intention and empower your life after this cleanse. What are you being called to empower? We're all different, yet all the same. You all have desires. Lean into it right now. Share it in the chat when you're ready. Take a minute. Let the dust settle. 
what comes up. Where is this cleanse taking you? For those of you that have been on all three calls with me, you'll feel into a rhythm of what's happening now. We're not just asking you questions from a conscious state. We're not talking about concepts. You are training yourself to feel into the rhythm more inside of your body. So you master the vibration of a direction which will always motivate action. You can only motivate action and direction when you feel aligned with it. Beautiful. This is where you actually learn to master that feeling and take aligned action anytime, anywhere, and we don't wait. In mastery, we don't wait. We don't wait for inspiration from the external world. We create it from the inside out by diving into spirit to empower your life after this cleanse. Beautiful. Let's now connect. What is it calling for you? I myself, day three in this cleanse, what's calling for me is to rest. I'll write that down. For me, it's to rest. I've actually been working too much. My body needs rest. My mind needs rest. I've been traveling a lot, constantly. you listen to the calling then to empower my life after this cleanse it's to continue and empower a state of rest so i could rebuild my body specifically so get as specific as you feel called long slow deep breath if you need more oxygen actually take a sharp breath and out through the nose, like a big, sharp gulp of a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just release the tension and breathe in more oxygen to just even be more alert. Long, so deep breath. I too can get a little restful and sleepy in this practice. Deep breath, beautiful. What is this calling of you? Beautiful, Jody. That's right. Turn off your devices. <laughs> Turn them off. Something so simple, but so impactful. We all know that. Indeed, even hard for me. My entire life and business is on Instagram. <laughs> Long, slow, deep breath. Beautiful. Purging blockages of fear, HD, HD, good to see you, man. Ignite momentum, express freely. I love that. Feel the vibration of that. Express freely. Don't hold back. Heather, being clear, vibrant self, not hiding or pushing down. You feel the energy of that? Beautiful. Sharing your, fuck yeah, complexity. Happiness, joy, and sharpness. I love these words. Beautiful. Including it all. Do you feel how all of these, these are very specific codes for all of you. Very specific zeros and ones to take your life in a direction. HD is purging blockages of fear, igniting more momentum, and then allowing himself to express more freely and share what he's learning. Do you feel that power? If we recognize, like I was saying even in yesterday's sessions, that these are not just words and thoughts. They are literal codes for you to follow the vibration of, so then you move in this direction and boom, you manifest your desires quickly, whatever they are. And you do them consciously. Beautiful. For me, I'll expand. Rest and rebuild my body. And for me, that means to continue to expand my own life and businesses, just to expand the message, the impact, 
Beautiful. When we listen, this is how you empower your life after this cleanse. This cleanse has brought you to this, let's call it approaching a crescendo. The vibration of being clear, your clear, vibrant self for Heather, right? Not hiding or pushing down. Let's feel into the vibration again. Please, again, use your heart right now, even with your eyes open. Do not listen to me with your ears. Listen to me with your open heart. Heather is sharing to not hide or push down her true self. Share her complexity, the perceptions you have of your complexity. We could dig into that, right? How you perceive your complexity, how other people perceive your complexity, how society perhaps you think or perceive them perceiving your complexity, all of it aligning with more happiness and joy and indeed the sharpness of you, how beautiful. When you feel into the code of that, long, slow, deep breath, let's all breathe into it, use our bodies. Heather, do you feel how that's a very clear direction for you? Beautiful. Do you feel like sharing, Heather? No obligation, of course. There's so much when we're grounding ourselves in the flow of where we've been, where we are, to recognize the codes of exactly why you're doing this cleanse. Of course, with all of us, it's physical issues. I've been eating, I won't say like shit, but I've been, have, I'm usually, I have a very clean whole food diet that Dr. Linda has had me on for years, which is why I can maintain my own body's diseases with her other protocols and guidance in my life as a doctor, right? To actually, because I've had autoimmune issues. My eyes were bulging out of my head 12 years ago, 10 years ago. It was like immense inflammation. And with Dr. Linda's guidance, I was able to align new harmonies in my body through all of it, part of it is just fasting, cleaning the gut. But why was I imbalanced? Why were you or, or any of us, how did we get to be imbalanced? Sure, diet, food, but we all know food is also aligned with emotional eating. Why was I eating that way? What energy was I riding? What stress was taking over my life that I wasn't necessarily being mindful of, or even if mindful, ignoring, to allow my body to get into that state? Beautiful. Now we have awareness. For myself, same thing. I realize I need more rest. I'm not taking enough rest. Sounds so simple. We read it all the time. Take more rest. But the only time we're going to do it, the only time you're going to really empower this path for you, this vibrant self, this clear mind for you, no longer pushing down, you know, the, sharing the complexities of you, who you are, is when you and your heart actually feel empowered to do so because you're no longer blocked mentally from, yes, the issues in your gut. And now you have that clean path. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Clark shares exactly it's the same thing, stepping fully into your strength, passion, and voice. Beautiful, beautiful. HD. There's, you know, dusting off the ashes of fear if any of you are now after three days, if you've been here for three days or even again with the recording, we don't bypass words. Dusting off the ashes of fear. It's something very specific that HD said. There's a vibration there. There's a feeling there. There's reasoning there, right? There's conditioning there. To dust off, this is not metaphorical. This is not an analogy. This is conditioning. And this is a mind that desires something so fully that you actually viscerally feel yourself, even in the bath, dusting off those ashes of fear. So for all of you that feel aligned or connected to this long, so deep breath, this is where we dive into the work, right? To not just listen to HD and his beautiful share for his life, to recognize the mirrored reflection. If there's something here for you, let's feel the vibration. Only in the vibration will you feel more connected to actually also be more motivated to dust off the ashes of fear. So long, slow, deep breath, even with eyes open, very quickly. This doesn't need to be big and formal. Release attention to the body. You all now dig it, know how it works. Surrender your body. And wherever you are in life, doesn't matter. There's always some fear. There's always another level. Long, slow, deep breath, use your body. There's always more to lean into. 
a new future to create for yourself. And the more you align in your body somatically with these feelings, because you're cleansed, you've committed to resetting your gut and your body, which is now clearing your mind and allowing you to feel more feelings, which is what Heather is also sharing and alluding to. It's feeling more. It's not just a gut cleanse for the body. You're able to dive into more codes, more frequencies of feeling in your body where HD can really, really, really feel that he's done. He's dusted off the shadows, the, the ashes of fear. Beautiful. Let's feel into that, breathe into that long, so deep breath. And when you can actually recognize a feeling that you're done with, that catalyzes momentum because you're done. You haven't only made a cognitive decision. You haven't only made a bunch of lists and said, I think I need to do this. I don't need to do this. I need to stop doing this. You didn't only read it in a damn book. You didn't listen to it in a podcast. You feel me? Long, so deep breath. Use your body. This is the sorcery. This is the alchemy. We're using our body. You can feel it with HD. And I know HD feels it. He's done. The ashes of fear. Clean that off. And we ride this rhythm. Long, slow, deep breath. Use your body. You feel clear. You feel re-inspired to take from Clark. You feel reinvigorated. Beautiful. You literally ignite momentum to create the future you want now. This is how you empower your life after this cleanse. Everything it's informing you up until tomorrow, even during phase two, to continue this practice, to listen to your body. And every day, every moment, you will be compelled. You'll have no energetic choice to move yourself in a powerful direction with your life. And then come back in four months and do it again with us. <laughs> six months, whenever we do the cleanse again. And just like Jody and I, this is why we keep doing it. Because we're listening to our bodies. And this process of resetting in a world that is bombarding us with external conditions, external advertising of even what to eat, how to eat, what to shove in our mouth. And we're not always listening. Not all of us. It's, it's hard. Even with me, with my quote unquote, with many of my peers and friends, I'm one of the most disciplined people they know with diet. But yet even me on my nomadic life, I'm like, damn, I went through a couple of drive throughs I'm like, I'm in a rush. I'm like, what? I looked at those pictures of Will Smith now. Has anyone seen them on Instagram showing his body? You should look that up. I had a six pack and abs and a pretty fuck, I have to admit, pretty rock body before COVID. Now, I almost look like Will Smith, maybe the skinnier version, not quite there, but still. I'm like, I should post my own photo of that. We all have our rhythm. And the more we commit, long, so deep breath, this isn't a lecture or story about my life. I want you to feel the rhythm of a mirror. Release the tension in your body, find that deep breath, surrender your heart, expand. That's the work here. And as even Clark shared, from this moment on, you step fully into your strength. From this moment on, you step fully into your passions. From this moment on, you step fully into your voice. From this moment on, you empower your life any moment of any day. It's not even about, here's the trick. It's not about after the cleanse. It's about empowering your life any moment that you tap into your heart in a clear reset focus state. There's your ignition. Beautiful. Long, slow, deep breath. Before we end, last call. Does anyone else feel like sharing? Otherwise, we'll call it and feel into the frequency. For anyone listening to the recording, I'll be in the Facebook group. So I invite you to whatever you're feeling, even in this guidance, please share it in the group. I'll chime in. I'll chime in there for the next few days as it's open. So I'll be there for you to dive into. And remember, as you not only listen to these 
modules or teachings to truly, and especially if you've been listening to them, all three of mine, and if you haven't listened to them yet, I suggest you go back and listen in order. There's a reason I'm taking you through this. It was past, present, and future. I think you feel the vibe of that now. When you learn the practice to somatically connect to your body while you cleanse and reset, you can then empower any facet of your life, which is why this will always be a practice I'll take with me till I die and I'll continue to teach people. So I'm sending so much love. If you have anything to share, it's been an honor, Jody, to be here with you and this group and team. I adore you. I love you dearly. You know that. And I just feel so aligned with Dr. Linda and Elena and everyone here in the process. So I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. You're the best. I love you dearly. I it's love you. Thank you for beautiful... carrying such a thread for us through this whole week. Mm. And for anyone, again, listening to the recording, remember, this isn't only about your body. Last thing I'll say, this is your body's energy in motion. I mean, it's all frequency. You're not even solid quantumly. It's just energy. It's all interconnected. We're cleansing our body to clear our mind. We clear our mind so then we could actually make a decision and cleanse our body. You know, it's all, when you start to look at your life and interweave these things, like read Dr. Linda's book, Harmonic Healing. It's the only book I carry with me on this trip, honestly. Full, like full truth, truthful share. It's like, when you truly embody the harmony of your life and recognize that these tensions you feel, I talk about this all the time in my practice, the tensions you feel in your life, it's just fuel. It's just a polarity. It's an energy to move you in another direction. That's all. Without that fuel, where would you go? You wouldn't go anywhere. There'd be no expansion if there was no tension, even in you feeling you needed to cleanse your gut. So beautiful, follow that path. If you need anything, you could always reach out. The, the best path or easiest way for me is DM me on Instagram at Philip Attar. If any of you feel called to this practice, I have my next program starting May 11th. We dive into this practice for four weeks to manifest very specific desires around financial wealth and the resonance of abundance to truly feel the truth. So you take action. We're not going to meditate just into a calm state. We're doing this to ignite some fuel. So, so much love, everyone. It's been an honor, Jody. We'll obviously speak soon. And take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Thank Philip. You. We love you.